Hi everyone, this is Dr. John D. Martini. When I was 17 years old and I met Paul Bragg that one special night to change my life, that was my first introduction to meditation. I actually got introduced to alpha meditation at the time. And I get asked quite often as I travel around the world, what meditation technique do I use? Well, the first time I ever did meditation without even really knowing anything about it, I did alpha meditation, which is basically bringing your mind into an alpha state and um, getting poised and present and allowing the noise to calm down. Well, from that night on, I uh, was interested in this topic. And so I started taking yoga classes and I had this woman guru who was basically a, a teacher of meditation that I used this tea bar and practiced this technique. And then I ended up going with Maharishi and took up TM many years back in 75. And over the years, various meditational techniques came along and I would go and attend the classes or listen in on it or study that and read about it. And all of them were helpful, all of them had a use. And I think that uh, there's no harm in exploring all of them. But I think it's unwise to get attached and say, this is the one and everything else is not true. Uh, this is the one of enlightenment, etc. I think that's an exaggeration. I think it's wise to master the use of your mind and master the use of a transcendent state and also practical focus state when it comes to meditation. Today I may meditate on a plane, flying from one country to the next and just sit there in my position and go into an altered state, an alpha theta state if you will, and um, all of a sudden tune in and get present. And uh, so there's many different things you can do for meditation, but don't get so attached to it. Your body's got to be a certain position or you got to do that because it really it's not about how your body's positioned, although that helps. That's not really the limiting factor of it. What matters is your mind becomes poised and present and purposeful and powerful and patiently uh, purposeful. So let's just take a look at it. I, I like to narrow down meditation to two basic forms, what I call creature meditation and creator meditation. Creature meditation is what I call a passive receptivity of the mind to the universe. And when you're in a state of gratitude and you see the order and you're able to have the synthesis and synchronicity of opposites in your mind at the same time, which the Demartini method can help you do, as I've explained in the brain's experience. Uh, this allows your mind to get the noise out. Because all the noise in the brain is all emotional, lopsided perceptions that you keep storing and don't neutralize and clear. That's why I created the Demartini method, to help people do meditation without having to do meditation. Clearing all the baggage so you have a poised mind regularly, a normal way of thinking. But all that emotional baggage keeps that noise in the brain, and meditation allows you to kind of still the waters of the brain, you might say. Well, doing the Demartini method calms that, so you go into meditation really easily. But the more you're present, and the more you know how to neutralize and ask questions in the mind to bring that noise back into center, all of a sudden you're in a creature state, where you're basically a passive receptive vehicle for inspired ideas, inspired visions, inspired messages, inspired states. In that illuminated state, because of our breathing is in balance and our mind is in balance and our state of consciousness is present, we receive some of the most inspired and greatest ideas. If we document those and write them down and write inspired writings, if you will, and get the messages we do and log them, then we activate creator meditation where we actually now concentrate on ever finer details of the creation of what we just received. And now we've taken that passive receptive creature state and turned it into an active, assertive creator state. We're taking what we received and now we're concentrating what inspires us and bring it into reality. The creator meditation is basically becoming ever finer in detail and ever more present with the image that we received in our creature meditation and creating that into our reality so we become a conduit from an inspired state into an inspired life. The creature and the creator, the passive and the assertive and active, the receiving and the broadcasting of an inspired state helps you master your mind, self-govern your life, and allows you to reduce the stress levels, be more well in life, and allows you to be, in a sense, the master. Thank you for joining me for this presentation today. If you found value out of the presentation, please go below and please share your comments. We certainly appreciate that feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icons. That way I can bring more content to you and share more to help you maximize your life. I look forward to our next presentation. Thank you so much for joining me.